Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 4th to the 10th of January 2021 for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Scorpio and see what message we have for you. What do we have angels? What is the message for Scorpio? Okay, I've got two cards there so let's go with it. We have, oh that's interesting. Both of those cards feel like inner communication, finding answers, knowledge, wisdom from within. Um, it feels very hermit energy. I mean, the hermit is the person who shines the lamp from within to find direction, wisdom, communication on how they need to make sound judgment calls and take action in their external environment. So there's some kind of illumination, communication. It definitely feels like you're being given from source. Um, on how you need to deal with the situation. Definitely an energy of answers from within. The communicating might well be how you need to communicate in your external environment as well. Okay, very nice energy there. So I'm going to pull four cards, Scorpio. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. The third card is advice from spirit. The fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Scorpio. Okay, two cards. So I have the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, that's in your current position. The Ace of Pentacles is your challenge. Advice from Spirit, Three of Pentacles. And your outcome, we have the Four of Swords. So let's clarify these cards and go deeper into the message, please. for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. What do we have for Scorpio, please? 4th to the 10th of January 2021. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please? Oh, okay. So we have the Knight of Swords here. Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Knight, Nine of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles we have clarified with the Six of Swords. Three of Pentacles, we have Eight of Cups. And the Four of Swords, Scorpio, we have the Ace of Wands. Oh, interesting. Knight of Wands is bottom of the deck. Scorpio, it feels in this situation. And definitely what I'm getting, I mean, this Queen of Pentacles Sorry, the, the Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. It feels like some news or information is coming in that has brought change to a situation that you once thought was clear. It feels to do with money, career, finances. 
because the Queen of Swords can be about can be somebody in your life I mean she is a card of Libra um, she is somebody who has is is has clarity of the mind the swords is to do with the mind the perspective communication I mean there could have been some communication or information from this person that doesn't feel to hold as much weight as you thought it did um, and it's to do with this the nine of, of pentacles which is money career finances It's interesting, that's what I'm getting. I mean, generally the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who stands in their own success, their own abundance, uh, their own independence. I mean, it can be a card of the entrepreneurial self-sufficiency, but it can be a card of somebody who is who understands how to use their practical skills to manifest money, to, to use their earth potential. You know, it is use their practical abilities, knowledge, focus, patience to deliver greater success reward it might well be for some of you i mean there could have been some kind of job opportunity where you were getting more money or some some business opportunity where you were getting more money i mean it could have been some kind of partnership that you you were going for but it doesn't feel like that seems to have held weight what you thought was going to happen it, it might have fallen through for some of you and this is the energy of communicate clear. This is the communication clearly, because again, there's an energy of whatever communication is coming in here. This is about finding answers from within, or how you're going to deal with it, which is interesting. Because again, the Ace of Pentacles is in your challenge position, so it could be to do with some kind of opportunity that hasn't worked out. Um, I mean, the Ace of Pentacles can be about moving, relocating, can be about um, career financial opportunities, but it feels something hasn't worked out, something, there's been change in terms of what you thought was going to happen, because the Six of Swords is the need to, to deal with the situation. To, to move from troubled waters, to put, them, to put troubled waters behind you and move to calmer waters. It's a process where this person is going in the right direction, but they're not quite at the end game yet. They've not quite dealt with the situation. The situation isn't quite finished. Um, or they're not quite at their end goal yet, you know, and they're still dealing with the, the ramifications of what's happened. It feels for some of you that something has happened here There's been change. I mean, I could easily say as well that, I mean, I could say this could be to do with property as well. It could be to do with a property that you might have wanted to invest in, to go for now. Um, it might well be that there's been some change in terms of, it could be making an offer on a property or a prop somebody making an offer on yours. It feels in this situation something has fallen through. Or will fall through. Um, and the eight of the eight of cups is it feels this, there's this energy of three of three of pentacles is can be about teamwork, collaboration, setting up your own business with other people. Can also be about the beginnings of sex in, success in terms of money, career, so job opportunities, beginning to work at a new place, you know, building solid foundations for real future growth and success. Um, but it's also a card of priority, getting priorities in order. I mean, it can also be a card of doing up your own home, but it feels like you're the, the advice from spirit is an energy of reprioritize turn your back on the disappointment because something it feels like there's been some disappointment here Scorpio something where you thought you were going to be standing in your own success your own abundance it's either to do with I'm feeling some kind of home or property or house move or it could be to do with your money and career aspect but the Ace of Cups is, is dust yourself down and reprioritize. I mean, that's what Spirit is telling you. Focus on, you know, moving forward with optimism in terms of getting your heart's desire, your hope, dream and wish. So 
for some of you, it definitely feels that you've had some disappointment. There's been some disappointing news. And again, the Four of Swords is just that recovery energy, recovering. Getting your head around a situation. It definitely feels like you're dusting yourself down, refocusing, taking a breather, just getting perspective and understanding how to move forward. Because there's definitely an energy here that there's a new offer coming in, which is absolutely in line with your passions and desires. So things happen for a reason, Scorpio, don't they? There is a new door that's going to open. You are being told to dust yourself down, reprioritize, focus on where you need to now. Because for some of you, there is going to be change. But it feels like a different opportunity that's coming into you that is going to bring positive change, very much in line with your passions and desires. You know, whatever this is for you, like I said, it could be to do with property, house moves. Um, it could be to do with career financial opportunities as well, maybe for some of you, um, job opportunities. But it very much feels like it's opening a new door. The Ace of Wands is excitement, something that is so much more exciting, some, something that is so much more in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes, something that if you take action towards this, there is real growth and success um, because it's something that is, lights you up something that fulfills your passions, your desires, um, some exciting opportunity, some exciting door that's about to open for you. So there's definitely an energy of dust yourself down, refocus, reprioritize, because change is coming, but not in the way that you expected. <laughs> um, but it, it feels like even better, I have to say. So it feels money and career orientated could be property orientated as well here scorpio but the good thing is that you weren't meant to get the first opportunity or the first offer here whatever this is and um, because there's something better coming your way that is so much better you know that knight of wands is an offer opportunity um something that's very much in line with your passion something that you're raring to go at you know it definitely feels that kind of energy so it's a lovely, lovely energy. I mean, this can also be about um, taking action towards your passions, desires. It's a card of inspired action. So maybe while you're reflecting on something, you're understanding how you need to take action to open a new door. And this is the result of doing that as well. But either way, the Knight of Wands definitely promises change, positive change, exciting change. Um, very much in line with something that really lights you up. So it feels like things were just meant to be this way, Scorpio. Things work out for a reason. So there's definitely an energy of dust yourself down, reprioritize, refocus, because there's definitely something better coming your way. And that's what you're being told to focus on now. Lovely energy. <laughs> okay, so let's pull a final card for Scorpio. Final card. Thank you. That flew off the table. Okay. Yeah, we have go outside. It's time to go outside. Tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. I mean, this is reconnecting to who you are. It's that sense of oneness. Also, the sense of oneness being connected to spirit. I'm definitely getting that energy too here. Um, because, you know, remember the Ace of Pentacles, even in the challenge position, is the helping hand from the universe and it might well be that the universe is saying yeah you weren't meant to get this opportunity this offer because there's something more exciting more tailored for you coming your way you know it is what it is so i hope you enjoyed the reading scorpio i wish you a happy new year and i will see you next time thank you